Nada que tira. Hey, what's up, my people? Zengo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the common writer Gachard DX Gachard Driver. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front here. We got the driver, we have Gachard himself up top. We have Gachard, and we have cards on this side. We have Gachard on this side. We have cards, things, stuff, more cards. Cards on the bottom, Gachard, things and stuff I cannot read. Warning, don't eat anything in this box, that could be very bad for you. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. It does this, that, the other things and stuff. You can buy more cards. And we have Sam Pac-Man. That's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have the Gachar Driver, and uh, yes, we have bid farewell to Kamen Rider Geats, and we welcome Kamen Rider Gachar into our lives for the upcoming year, and uh, yeah, this is his driver, the Gachar Driver, and um, yeah, a very interesting interesting driver but still a pretty cool driver as you can see it's pretty much just a big old rectangle it's it's it, it is a brick it's pretty much a brick it does have some weight to it too so yeah kind of a brick <laughs> but let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details you can see we got a bunch of transparent plastic right up front here some clear some orange you get some yellow paintwork in there you can see there's a lot of molded detail in the transparent plastic itself you can kind of see a little bit of the, uh, the helmet design going on in there. We'll see that better once we get to the henchening. But we get a lot of that transclearance orange right here. Up top, we have our two slots for our cards. Uh, you can see we have a big slot right up here. So eventually, something's getting plugged onto the top of this driver. Can't wait to see what that's going to be about. And there you have the bottom. A little bit of detail going on. And there is... The back again, some molded detail. Your battery compartment is right here. It takes uh, three AAA batteries, which are not included. You will have to get those yourself. Um, your on-off switch is right here. Your speaker is right up top. And yeah, I mean, and the way it works is basically you take these side sections here, pull it out, and then close it up. And that is how that works. That's pretty much it. Pretty much like the back of driver. And for a quick comparison, here it is with last year's Desire Driver. Just so you can see how that works out. And of course, this being a belt, it does have the belt strap, which is done in a bright, bright orange. I don't know if the camera does this justice, but this is a bright orange strap. Um, you can see the centerpiece here. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is a new centerpiece. Uh, for the past couple drivers, they've been reusing um, old uh, back pieces, but I think this is a new one. Again, correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, this works like every other strap does. You have the little buttons here. You just hold these down. The right side goes into the right side. Go figure. And the left side goes into the left side. I am shocked. I am shocked and amazed by that. There you go. There you have your strap, and now you have a belt. And as always, if you want this to fit your adult waist, which this clearly does not, unless you're super skinny, um, there are always ways to extend these. They do sell, like, actual, like, uh, official belt extensions. You can use a shoelace, Velcro, whatever. I've seen people mob these to fit on an actual belt. So, you know, always ways to go about wearing this on your adult waist if you want to. And what does our writer get his powers from this year? From these cards. That's right. These are the Ride Kemi cards. And the driver comes with five of them. So we get the two cards that make up his base form. Right here, this is Hopper 1. You can see some nice artwork there. And take a look at the back. And we also get Steam Liner. Getting the nice, nice artwork. You can see a nice and e, nice and e. That's <laughs> that's my professional way of describing this. They're nice and e, <laughs> but they look really cool. I love the little holographic effect there. Very nice, nice and colorful. Again, there's the back. We also get Beep Mariner. That's pretty cool. And there's the back. We get O O Ripa. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. But there's that. 
And we also get Apare Bushido or Bushio. I'm not sure what if that's a D or two O's there. Not entirely sure. You guys can tell me what that's supposed to say. <laughs> but again, yeah, very cool artwork on the front and on the back. Now you can see you have separate symbols here. Each symbol describes what the uh, what the card is. So you can see you have these, which I believe are. Um, the job symbol. Uh, these two, you can see here, they have the vehicle symbol, and Hopper One has the insect symbol. Now, I believe you can see there's another symbol right here in this corner, and I think that's telling you what it's kind of, you know, what's best match is. Um, but I think that's how that is supposed to work. I could be wrong again. Hey, we're only one episode in, so, you know, <laughs> we only know but so much right now. At least, well, I only know but so much. You guys probably know everything by now, but I don't. But that's usually the case. But yeah, we have our cards, we have our driver. So without further ado, let's get down to some mentioning. So the first thing we need to do is we need to turn this thing on. So again, your on-off switch is right back here. Turn it on and you get... It tells you what it is in case you already forgotten. You can see how that whole front screen there just lit up. And now we bring in our good friend, the Ryder Can. Because if the Ryder Can, you can... So let's get down to it. So we will start off with the uh, base form here of Hopper 1 and Steam Liner. So you want to insert the cards this way with the uh, pictures facing back. And Steam Liner. Come on. And when you're ready to go, just say, Henshin! And there you go! You have transformed into Kamen Rider Gachard, and that is cool, and I love the light show going on here, and it goes on for a little bit, too. That's awesome. That's really cool. I love how this works. I mean, it pretty much works like the Becca Driver. Um, and honestly, this, this series so far is just, it, it really just seems like decayed meets Pokemon, really. Cause I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty much how it works. Like even the cards, like the characters are like, hopper, hopper, hopper. It's just, it's, it's decayed meets Pokemon. But hey, you know what? I'm here for it. I am all here for it. I'm a fan. Why not? Dare I say, why not? But anyway, let's get in close here and you can see how. We now have Gachard's helmet right there, and there he is in his default uh, steam hopper form. So now we're going to do our attack, and to do that, we're just going to close up the sides and then pull them back out. And explosions, and explosions, and there you have the Steve Hopper fever! That's right, we're back to fever! Oh, he's got a fever! And the only cure is more Steve Hoppering! That makes no sense, but it's okay. <laughs> it never does. But, there you go. We've done our final attack. Now, to eject the cards, you want to push the sides in, but you want to push them in as far as they will go. They have a natural stopping point, um, and that will engage the final attack noise. If you just do this... And pull the cards out. It keeps going. It doesn't stop. So. <laughs> then we'll just get a little bit more fever. But to properly eject the cards, you want to push the sides in all the way. And you'll hear that noise, and you can see the cards will pop up, and you can extract them. 
Now, for the record, it doesn't matter which side you put the cards on. Now, by default, you're supposed to put Hopper on this side and Steamliner on this side, but you can put Steamliner on this side. So, that doesn't change anything. So now, uh, let's try our other cards. We've got three more cards here. So now let's do uh, Beep Mariner. Oh, and one thing also, if you just put in one card, we'll just put in Hopper by itself. That's all you get. And when you do the attack, you just get a regular fever. That's it. Just a regular fever. And we'll do Steam Liner by himself just to further demonstrate. just your regular fever. One thing that is annoying though is when you close the sides up, sometimes it pops the card up a little bit and you have to push it back down so everything stays lined up there. That's a little bit of an annoyance, but it's okay. All right, so now let's get into our uh, other cards here. So let's do uh, Beep Mariner. We'll do Beep Mariner and, uh, and Oripa. Why not? <laughs> Just like the Ducker Driver. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't want to read the card. Come on. Nope. Just like the Ducker Driver. See? What did I tell you? There we go. Again, you just get a generic sound there. And you just get your regular fever, but you can see in here the, uh, the helmet designs going on in there. And uh, we'll do... Apare Bushido or Bushio or Bushibo, I don't know. Uh, we'll do this. And, um. I guess Bushido. I just heard it. And we'll do a Steam Liner, just because. And again, generic noise. Oh, the fever. So much fever. But you know what? I'll put these in uh, by themselves so you can hear the noises they make. They have already... Oh! Come on. There we go. And Beep Mariner. Come on. Oh, come on. Okay. 
Eh, la pared pusido. There you go. So there you have the Gachar driver, and uh, yeah, very cool. Um, you know, it's it's a pretty simplistic design, and it's also, you know, just kind of a simplistic gimmick. You just put the cards in, pull the sides out, voila, you henchin. Not a whole lot to it, but I love the noises. I love the light show in the belt itself. Like, that is really cool. Just the colors are just nice and bright and vibrant. Just really works so well. But again, like I said earlier in the review, it just feels like Decade meets Pokemon. But you know what? That's fine. Hey, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. And looking forward to seeing what this series brings us throughout the year. So there you go. And now I picked this up from CS Toys. But of course, there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you're interested, such as Hobby Link Japan, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake. Of course, there's always eBay and Amazon. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for a common writer items. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the Gachar the playlist for this and all future reviews. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love, Peace, Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Common Rider Gachar DX Gachar Driver. And this is M Ghost saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Bomb in your face.